Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Haven't I have not posted in a while. The reason why is because I've been trying to get my game on AppWeb uh primary facilities and I've been remaking in it and everything. All that. So uh what you're gonna wanna do to set up this enable and disable script, you're just gonna want to uh click a disk plus and make your object fight or your button. Then you're just gonna put the script on it. Then you're just gonna create the objects that you want to disable and enable. So I'm gonna say these ones to disable. Then I'll copy these and bring them up here. But then I'll disable them. So I, I'm gonna select the one that has uh, the, f uh, the script on it, then I'm gonna delete all the other ones, or delete all the other scripts on the other ones. And I'm gonna click object to enable, then you're gonna see how many you have disabled, then you're gonna do four, if you have four you do four, then you just drag in all your objects. then the objects to disable which will be the ones on the sides if you created like all the cubes just to test it then you just uh click or put it in element two then the last one element five and then uh what you're gonna want to do you just want to put it to is trigger make sure it's on is trigger and if you wanted to not be able to like, could you won't be able to like stand on the button. Uh, just put your layer to walk through. And go into uh, project settings, then go to physics. Then make sure uh, the layer is not checked. And so that means you can like not collide with it or the layer is not like have physics so you can't quite a fit. Uh, I will be posting more tutorials. Uh, yeah, cause I've been gone for a while, and now that I have more time to to post more, cause I'm done with all the app lab stuff. I'm just waiting. Uh, I can post more. So you just get your gorilla player, you touch the button, and as you can see it enables those and it disables those. And if you want me to redo it, I'll just enable these and disable these. Then if I click it again, it will disable those and enable those. Uh, hope this helped. And uh, enjoy. The link for the script is in the comments, or not in the comments, description.